So next important thing that Ali Razil Talanho did that he when he took the charge of the office he decided to change the governors because Ali Razil Talanho took the charge of the office in a crisis laden conditions when Usman Razil Talanho was, has been assassinated and he uh, received a demand from the family of Usman Razil Talanho particularly Banu Umayya. Banu Umayya they started demanding from him to uh, for Kisas okay they started demanding for uh, Kisas from him and while the, on the other hand the rebels the mischief makers the supporters of Abdullah bin Saba who were very much powerful at the time they started demanding from Hazrat Ali to reverse the policies of Hazrat Usman particularly they demanded from him to change those governors who were the relatives of Usman since Ali Razila Talano had noticed that major problem with Usman faced were these governors so he decided to change all these governors who were Usman's relatives so he decided to take this action immediately after taking the charge of the office okay you can also mention that he was advised by his close supporters and his advisors not to change them uh, all of them at once okay they advised him to change them one after another okay and he has to if he has to change he should first uh, stable himself and he has to establish himself on the Islamic Empire he has to first take oath from them okay and then he can change them if he wishes to change uh, but the, he should change them one after another they should not be changed all of them all together should not be changed okay, he should change them one after another and particularly they advise him not to change those who were appointed by Omar like the governor of Syria particularly he has although he was the relative of Usman but he, Usman has not actually appointed him he has been appointed by Umar Azila Talano but Ali Razila Talano decided to change all of them at once okay so he appointed some of these governors you can identify like Abdullah bin Abbas was appointed as the governor of Yemen and Usman bin Hanif as already mentioned that Usman bin Hanif was appointed as a governor of Basra and the same way Amara bin Hassan in Kufa and Qais in Egypt and Suhail bin Hanif in uh, was asked to take the charge of Syria okay Suhail that is not Sahel that is Suhail bin Hanif or the, has been appointed as the governor of Syria okay in place of Mavi Rajila Talanho uh, all these governors were successful in taking the charge of the office okay but some of them were not like particularly you can identify Suhail bin Hanif Suhail bin Hanif was sent back from the Syrian border okay the Syrian forces sent Suhail bin Hanif back to uh, Medina with the message that we do not acknowledge Hazrat Ali as a caliph okay the pe Syrian people and the people from Syria the Syrian forces they sent Suhail bin Hanif back to Medina from the Syrian border with the message that since they do not acknowledge Hazrat Ali as a caliph so they are not bound to accept his orders okay so that this is how he was sent back Ali Razila Talano ne unko arguments yehi diye ke they have to accept him as a caliph because he has been elected by those people who had elected Usman okay Usman has been elected by Talha and Zubair and Talha and Zubair were those who had also elected Hazrat Ali Razila Talano and they were the first to acknowledge him as a caliph so Ali Razila Talano ne unko reason yehi diya ke they have to and they should accept him as a caliph because because he has been elected by those who had elected Usman because Usman was also elected by Talha and Zubair and Talha and Zubair had also elected Hazrat Ali but they demanded Hazrat Muawiya demanded and the Syrians demanded that they would acknowledge him as a caliph but first he should take action against those who um, were involved in Usman's assassination okay which resulted in opposition oh, and because of this the, the opposition increased further and which resulted in the battle of Siffin Okay, what Muawiya Razila Talanho did, he displayed the blood-stained clothes of Hazrat Usman and the chopped off fingers of Hazrat Naila, wife of Usman, okay, in the mosque of Damascus, okay, and people were instigated and which inflamed the Syrians, okay, Muslims got inflamed there in Syria, they got inflamed at how mercilessly Usman Razila Talanho has been killed and no action has been taken against them yet, even a year has been passed, Ek Sal Karsa. गुजर चुका था ठीक है एक साल का टाइम पीरियड हो चुका था और फिर भी कोई अभी तक एक्शन नहीं लिया गया था ठीक है तो दिस इज हाउ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस 
so because of this above situation, Ali Radhi decided to take action to establish his writ and he marched towards Syria. 80,000 Muslims came under the, his banner to fight the Syrians. Okay, so there were eight, uh, about a strength of 80,000 Muslims with Hazrat Ali Razi Latalanho. When Mawi Razi Latalanho came to know about this, he also advanced and they proceeded with, and they, he too proceeded with a vast army. Okay, the same strength, we can say 80 to 90,000 was the strength with Hazrat Mawi Razi Latalanho also. Okay, and they, obtained, they occupied a better position in the, in the field. Okay, they both met at Siffin, that is why this battle is known as the Battle of Siffin. They both, okay, Hazrat Ali Zarazilatalano did not want to shed the Muslims' blood in vain, okay, and therefore the peace talks were made and attempts were made to solve the matter through negotiation. Okay, Ali Zarazilatalano gave him the reason that why there is a delay from his side, okay, and initially there were minor skirmishes. Achha, ke both armies, they came in front of one another in the month of Zul Hajj, okay, Zul Hajj. Okay, in the better way to write Zilhaj, okay, 36 Sh. Okay, in the month of Zilhaj, both the armies, they came in front of one another and there were minor skirmishes over there. Fine, but afterwards, when at the end of the month of Zilhaj, they signed a truce. Okay, a pact was signed that there will be no war and no aggression against one another for a month. So, they signed a truce for a a month. Ek mahine ke liye ek pact sign ho gaya ke there will be no fighting for a month. Ek mahine tak koi jang nahi hogi. Theek hai? And that was, that was signed in the, on the 1st of Muharram 37 age. Theek hai? Wo kap sign hua tha? It was signed on the 1st Muharram 37 age. Okay, that for the complete month of Muharram, there will be no fight, no war. And they will try to negotiate and they will try to solve their matter through peace talks. Okay, the peace talks were attempted, but they were not successful. And with the end of the month of Muharram, with the, with the beginning of the first of Safar, okay, Safar, 37H, the battle started. Okay, with the start of the month of Safar, 37H, the battle started, which lasted for seven days. And on eighth day of the battle, matlab, on eighth of Safar, okay, Hazrat Ali Razi Latalanu clashed with the forces of Mavia and he decided to use his full strength and full force in the battlefield and same day Ammar bin Yasir, one of the uh, important companion of the Holy Prophet peace upon him was also martyred on that day. So uh, Ali Razila Talano decided to use his full strength and he was about to get the victory and when Muawiyah Razila Talano realized that his defeat is near and he would lose the battle so on the advice of one of his commander Amar bin Alas Mawir Razi Latalano ki force ke ek main commander the wo kaun the Amar bin Alas the the one who had conquered Egypt okay so Amar bin Alas advised him to give orders to the troops in the front ranks to fasten the holy quran to their lances to their swords take it to the advice ki ke to order the troops of the front rank apni jo ugly jo samne ki jo fauj hai jo army hai usko kya kya hukum dein aur kya order kare to fasten to tie the quranic pages to tie quranic pieces to their lances to their uh, swords and to their spears and they should pass and they should go in front of the other army and say kya kahe? let the word of Allah let the word of Allah decide between us and you let the word of Allah decide between us and you okay this is what they have to say let the word of Allah decide between us and you this is ठीक है उनको ये कहा कि वो दूसरी जो फौज है अगर उनकी फौज के सामने से ये कहते हुए गुजरे ठीक है वो अपनी नेजों पर अपनी तलवारों पर अपनी शॉर्ट्स के ऊपर क्या करें कुरानिक पेजेस को टाई करें बांधें और ठीक है और ये शो करते हुए उनकी फौज के सामने से गुजरे ये कहते हुए क्या कहते हुए गुजरे लेट द वर्ड ऑफ अल्लाह डिसाइड बिटवीन अस एंड यू ठीक है ये कहते हुए वहां से गुजरे ठीक है तो सीइंग द कॉपीज ऑफ द होली कुरान ऑन द लेंसेस हजरत अली रिकॉग्नाइज दैट इट वाज अ क्लेवर मूव it was just a clever strategy. He realized that it was just a trick from the other side. Okay? And he decided not to stop the war. Okay? And he asked his troops to fight till the clear victory. And they had to fight till their clear victory. But some of his men, okay, the army did 
डिड नॉट शेयर हिज व्यू एंड स्टॉप फाइटिंग उन्होंने कहा कि नो यू हैव टू स्टॉप फाइटिंग अदरवाइज वी विल स्टार्ट फाइटिंग अगेंस्ट यू बिकॉज वैन दे हैव बीन कॉल्ड टूवर्ड्स कुरान एंड दे वॉन्टेड टू सॉल्व दिस मैटर बाय बाई रेफरिंग इट टू द कुरान सो दे हैव टू स्टॉप फाइटिंग सो अली वॉज हेल्पलेस एंड ही हैड नो अदर ऑप्शन बट टू स्टॉप फाइटिंग सो द फाइटिंग वॉज स्टॉप्ड एंड आफ्टर द डिस्कशन ऑफ फ्यू डेज कुछ दिनों की डिस्कशन के बाद इट वॉज फाइनली डिसाइडेड दैट द मैटर वॉज टू बी सॉल्व थ्रू आर्बिट्रेशन डिस्कशन वेंट ऑन फॉर थ्री डेज एंड फाइनली वट हैज़ बीन एग्रीड दैट द मैटर टू बी सॉल्व बाई आर्बिट्रेशन कि मैटर कैसे सॉल्व होगा आर्बिट्रेशन के जरिए से इस मैटर को क्या करना है सॉल्व करना है ठीक है अली रजी तलानो वैन ही रिटर्न बैक टू हिज आर्मी ओके अली रजी तलानो वैन ही रिटर्न बैक टू हिज आर्मी and announced that the matter was to be resolved by arbitration theek hai ke matter jo hai wo kis se solve hoga arbitration se hoga so and he he was about to leave the battlefield and he decided to leave and return back to kufa so while he was leaving the battlefield some of his men asked him to attack the syrian forces again to which ali radhi allah anhu refused theek hai jab hazrat ali ne ye tay kar liya hazrat muawiya ke sath theek hai dono ke darmiyan baat cheet hui discussion hui dono दोनों फोर्सेस के बीच में एंड फाइनली इट वाज डिसाइडेड दैट द मैटर टू बी रिजॉल्व बाय आर्बिट्रेशन अली रजील तैनो ने अपने कैंप्स में अपनी फोर्सेस को आके अनाउंस किया कि दिस मैटर वाज टू बी रिजॉल्व थ्रू आर्बिट्रेशन डिटेल्स बता दी दैट अमर बिन अलास फ्रॉम मुआविया साइड एंड अबू मोसा शरी वाज फ्रॉम हजरत अली साइड सो एंड ही डिसाइडेड टू रिटर्न बैक सो वैन ही वॉज रिटर्निंग बैक एंड ही वॉज प्लानिंग टू रिटर्न बैक सम ऑफ हिज मैन एंड हिज ट्रूप्स फोर्स हेम टू अगेन अटैक ऑन द सीरियन फोर्सेज ठीक है कि आप दोबारा अटैक करें अली रजील तैन रिफ्यूज सेइंग दैट सिंस ही हैड साइंड एन एग्रीमेंट विद देम एंड नाउ ही कैन नॉट ब्रेक द ट्रीटी ठीक है वो इस ट्रीटी और इस माहे की खिलाफ वर्जी नहीं कर सकते तो उन्होंने मना किया कि वो वो अब तो ट्रीटी को ब्रेक नहीं कर सकते ठीक है तो ये बात हो गई वहाँ पर तो सम ऑफ इज मैन दोज हुर डिमांडिंग फ्राम हेम टू अटैक दे लेफ्ट हेम ठीक है एंड they while leaving they shouted no judgment except god so what they said no decision except allah la hukma illa lillah no decision except god's decision no judgment except god's theek hai to they separated themselves from hazrat ali's army okay around 12000 of them they left hazrat ali radhi allah taala anhu and they they are known as kharijites okay but the, the, that slogan they had they had raised aapne ye batana hai ki unhone kya kehte hue alag hue wo ye kehte hue zari se alag hue ki no decision except allah's decision except god's decision and with that they referred to the quranic verse of surah hujrat theek hai ye to unki baat hai na jo unhone kahi thi aapne yahan batana hai ki with that they referred to the verses of surah hujrat okay surah hujrat according to this according to that surah a verse in that if two factions of muslims fight if two factions of muslims fight reconcile between the two reconcile between the two theek hai agar do muslimanon ke do groups aapas mein kya padhe lad padhe to kya karo reconcile between the two un dono ke darmiyan sulah kara do ठीक है टू फैक्शंस ऑफ मुस्लिम्स फाइट ठीक है रिकनसाइल बिटवीन द टू एंड इफ वन ट्रांसग्रेसेस द अदर फाइट अगेंस्ट द वन हु ट्रांसग्रेस सो द वन हु ट्रांसग्रेसेस फाइट अगेंस्ट द वन हु ट्रांसग्रेस ठीक है तो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस वर्ड्स अल्लाह इज कमांडिंग मुस्लिम्स एंड द बिलीवर्स टू फाइट अगेंस्ट द वन हु ट्रांसग्रेसेस so here allah is commanding them to fight so why ali radhi allah anhu has stopped fighting so when when they asked hazrat ali radhi allah anhu to again attack to ali radhi allah anhu ne unko bataya ki it was not his decision to stop fighting they themselves had compelled him to stop fighting theek hai and when he refused to accept their demand so they separated themselves with this slogan that no decision except god and they refer to the quranic verse of surah hujrat that if two factions of muslims fight reconcile between the two and if one group transgresses on the other then fight against the one who transgresses to do groh lad pade do groups lad pade to unke darmiyan sulah kara deni chahiye aur agar jisne ziyadati ki hai to unke khilaf 
کاروائی کی جائے سو اباؤٹ ٹویلو تھاؤزینڈ آف دیم دے سیپریٹیڈ دیم سیلف فرام حضرت علی اوکے حضرت علی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ وین ہی ریٹرن ٹو کوفا دے جو نمبر ہیڈ ریچ اوکے دے آر دیز خارجائٹ جو نمبر ریچ ٹو ٹویلو تھاؤزینڈ اینڈ دے کیمپ ایٹ ہرورا اوکے دیٹ از نیئر نہروان ویئر دا لاسٹ بیٹل واز فارڈ ان دا کیلیفیڈ آف حضرت علی اوکے ہرورا اینڈ دے اپوائنٹیڈ شیز بن ربی ایز دیئر کمانڈر ان چیف اینڈ عبداللہ بن کوا ایز دیئر امام اوکے یو کین گیو سم بریف ڈیٹیل اباؤٹ اٹ دے ہیڈ ویری اسٹرینج بلیوس اباؤٹ دیم اکارڈنگ ٹو دیم دیٹ دے اناؤنس دیئر پالیسی دیٹ اللہ الون از ٹو بی اویٹ اوکے اینڈ دے اکارڈنگ ٹو دیم دے آر ایگزٹ نیدر اے خلیفہ نور این امیر بہت علی اینڈ معاویہ آر این دا ایرر اینڈ دے کنسیڈر ٹو کل دا ادر مسلم ٹو لیگل ٹھیک ہے اپنے علاوہ اپنے بلیف کے علاوہ باقی جو دوسرے بلیف ان سے ریلیٹڈ ہیں وہ ان کو وہ قتل کرنے کو وہ صحیح سمجھتے تھے سو دے سیٹ اپ دے آر سینٹر ایٹ نہروان اوکے ویئر دا لاسٹ دا اندر دا بیٹل واز فارٹ اگینسٹ دیم وچ از نون ایز دا بیٹل آف نہروان اینڈ دے بگن ٹو پریچ دیئر کلٹ کلٹ مینس دیئر بلیف اینڈ دیئر آئیڈیاز سو دے ور ویری ہارش ٹو دوز ہو ڈفرڈ فرام دیم اینڈ دے ریگارڈیڈ دیم ایز ریبلس اگینسٹ اسلام اینڈ مرڈر دیم سو دے اپیرنٹلی دے سیم ٹو بی ویری مچ پائس Okay, they used to offer long salat, okay, wore simple dress, and they were very honest in their dealing, but they were the misguided in their belief. So apparently they were showing that they were uh, that much pious. So after the, at the end of the battle of Sifin, it was decided that the matter was to be res resolved by arbitration. Okay, for this arbitration, Abu Musa Ashari has been selected from Hazrat Ali's side, and Amr bin Alas was selected from Hazrat Muawiyah's side. and they both had to announce their decision by the time of 6 months and during that by that time there will be no hostility between the two groups okay all types of hostilities would be ceased and they met at daumatul jandal okay daumatul jandal is a place on the border of syria okay humne tabuk mein bhi padha tha ke daumatul jandal ke bare mein na tabuk expedition mein bhi so they met at daumatul jandal that is midway between kufa and damascus so it was on the border of syria and the capital of Syria is Damascus. So, in, a, in their joint discussion, it was decided that Usman has been killed unjustly and his assassins should be punished and both Ali and Muawiyah should step down from their post. Fine, this was the agreement. This was, these were the key points on which they agreed. Okay, they agreed that they would remove both of them. They both would step down. But who would appoint them to their place? So, they could not agree on a single name so it was decided that the matter to be left for the people that they may elect anyone as the caliph they may elect any one as their leader so in the meeting Amr said that Ali did not take the action against the killers of Usman which proved that he directly or indirectly involved in the murder of Usman if you want to give this detail it is not necessary I have told you that mainly I have told you that there are three things that have been in agreement one was that that Usman was killed unjustly I will mention this Second thing that you need to mention that his assassins should be punished. Okay, and third thing was that both Ali and Muawiyah should step down. Okay, and they both suggested to appoint a third neutral and undisputed person as the caliph, but they could not agree on one particular name, and that is why the matter was left for the people. Fine. Like they suggested a name, there was a suggestion of Abdullah bin Omar. Saad bin Abi Waqqas was not interested. Abdullah bin Zubair was involved in the Battle of Camel. So there were different things. So that is why at a time when it was announcement, the time of announcement, Abu Musa Ashari announced as it was discussed, as it was agreed. Fine. But Amar bin Alas uh, changed a little bit, saying that he considered himself to retain Muawiyah on, the, on his post. Okay. What has been announced? In my opinion, the best course would be that, that we would dis depose both Ali and Muawiyah and ask the community to decide the matter for themselves. Okay. And they agreed. Abu Musa stood first and announced that he and his colleague agreed that both Ali and Muawiyah were deposed. But Amar bin Alas declared that he agreed with Abu Musa in the joint decision to depose Ali, but he had decided to retain Muawiyah in his post. So it became one-sided decision. It became biased decision. And Ali Rajalatlanu, so this arbitration was failed, and Ali Rajalatlanu had no other option but to have another fight and another battle with uh, the Syrians. Okay, with Hazrat Muawiyah Rajalatul Anhu. Okay, here you have to mention that because of the outcome of the arbitration, the, these Kharizites became very much strong since they had already told Ali that why he had compromised his authority by accepting to resolve the matter by arbitration. Okay, that you 
उन्होंने क्यों अपनी अथॉरिटी को कॉम्प्रोमाइज किया क्यों आपने एक्सेप्ट किया कि द मैटर वॉज टू बी रिजॉल्व बाई आर्बिट्रेशन यू शुड हैव सॉल्व इट योर सेल्फ बाई विद द हेल्प ऑफ कुरान ठीक है तो दीज खारिजाइट्स बिकेम वेरी मच स्ट्रॉग बिकॉज देयर पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू बिकेम वेरी मच स्ट्रेंथन ठीक है तो आफ्टर दिस फेलियर ऑफ आर्बिट्रेशन अली रजी तैन वॉन्टेड टू मार्च टू सीरिया बट खारिजाइट्स मूवमेंट डाइवर्टेड इज अटेंशन ही वॉन्टेड टू गेन द सपोर्ट फ्राम दीज खारिजाइट्स ओके एंड ही रिमाइंडेड दैम अबाउट द प्रोफेटिक अहादीस अबाउट हजरत अली अबाउट हिमसेल्फ टू विच सम ऑफ खारिजाइट्स दोज हु आर न्यूट्रल दे री ज्वाइन हजरत अली रजी तैन हो बट स्टिल देर वर सो मैनी हु आर अगेंस्ट एंड दे वर अ ग्रेट ऑब्स्टिकल ठीक है एंड दे वर डाइवर्टेड हिज अटेंशन and they were ready to fight against ali radhiyallahu anhu so ali has to first deal with these kharijites so therefore he set out for naharwan okay naharwan in which the battle of naharwan was fought okay it was the khawarij okay this time he has to deal with the kharijis so ali radhiyallahu anhu tried to negotiate and sent some prominent companions to persuade these kharijite leaders but they did not listen to them fine so this is how this battle was fought and many of them they uh, joined hazrat ali radhi allah anhu around 3000 kharijites repented and took again bath on hazrat ali's hand and around finally there there were about 4000 and ali's uh, there were only 4000 were left with them and ali radhi allah anhu had a force of 50000 so kharijites fought desperately and but they were defeated and their leaders were killed so they were also very much firm in their belief and they were thinking that they were the only right people and if they would die they will get the rank of martyrdom and they would be rewarded with paradise so this resulted in the death of all these kharijites all were killed only few dozens only two or three dozen they managed to escape from the battlefield and later on they uh, propagated their ideas later on and some of them they even planned to kill uh, they made a coordinated attack and a very synchronized attack against ali muavia and amar bin alas so these people they started uh, their uh, conspiracy against hazrat ali radhi allah anhu ali radhi allah anhu was also assassinated by one of these kharijites two years later abdur rahman ibn muljam so after his victory in the battle of naharwan ali radhi allah anhu wanted to further proceed towards syria to fight against them but his own troops started leaving him because uh, they had lost their courage the reason behind losing their courage was that in the battle of naharwan people killed on the other side they were their own relatives their cousins their brothers and their their family members because kharijites were those who had separated themselves from the forces of hazrat ali radhi allah ta'ala anhu so it had lowered their morale and they had lo- lost their courage and they were not willing to support ali radhi allah ta'ala anhu any more in an- another battle so ali radhi allah ta'ala anhu decided to drop his plan and um, Muawiyah radhi allahu anhu took full advantage of that and he with the help of Amr bin Alas invaded Egypt and Egypt also fell from the hands of Hazrat Ali radhi allahu anhu so Ali had first appointed Qais bin Sa'd and later on he had appointed Muhammad bin Abu Bakr in his place so uh, then there was a pro Osman party in Egypt and they had signed a treaty with Qais that they will neither do pledge with on Ali's hand nor they would go against in the rebellion so but Muhammad attacked them and was defeated Muhammad bin Abu Bakr later on finally okay you can directly mention that uh, uh, you can that amr bin alas was sent and because of that muhammad bin abu bakar was forced to resign and later on he was killed and egypt fell from the hands of hazrat ali and amr bin alas has been appointed as a as a as a governor over here and afterwards a treaty has been signed between hazrat ali and hazrat muawiyah radhi allah anhu and as per that treaty muawiyah radhi allah anhu would rule over uh, syria and egypt and rest of the islamic empire would be ruled over by Ali Radhi Allah Anhu. Okay, as I told you that Ali Radhi Allah Anhu was assassinated by uh, Abdur Rahman ibn Muljam, and the one who has planned to kill Hazrat Ali, and this task has been given to Abdur Rahman ibn Muljam, one of the Kharijites. So after the Fajr, at the time of the Fajr prayer on 18th Ramzan, some sources mention 19th Ramzan, 40 A.H., Ali was attacked with a poisonous sword, and um, Amr bin uh, Amir Muawiyah radhi Allah anhu was uh, escaped with a scratch and Amr bin As was uh, he didn't come out from his house because he was sick that day and he remained unhurt and Ali radhi Allah anhu died because of this on 21st Ramzan 40 AH okay so that is all about 
later on abdurrahman ibn muljan was killed because ali azizullah anhu as a kisas he was killed okay in the revenge of his father so hasan took out his body from the grave after he was buried because he was a fear of kharij they did the buried taken and it was buried at some unknown place you can mention it in your answer that's all about the caliphate of ali radhiyallahu anhu so i hope this caliphate is now clear